so it's a sequence if you're cheap if, if you don't invest in yourself then nobody will invest in you like how are you going to tell life that you're worthy if you don't consider yourself worthy and if you consider yourself worthy then it's a no-brainer to highly pay for the things that you value and love <sighs> to have a healthy relationship money you have to have embodied your king energy and your dark feminine because that is your backbone okay if you don't have self-recognition self-knowledge of who you are then how you're going to stand in the self-value that you're proclaiming about yourself okay i'm going to say that again if you don't have clear knowledge self-standards of who you are then how you're going to magnetize to magnetize anything into your life you have to know what it is back to specificity it has to be really specific so if you're unbalanced in softness, you don't have a backbone of assertiveness, king energy, queen energy, being able to reflect back, not set personality, right? Like if you feel soft, you become softness in that moment. If you feel that you need to give a tough reflection, you give a tough reflection. And that's the alchemy of energy mastery, okay? Because you become a genderless being. You can still enjoy your feminine body or your masculine body, but it's whatever it's needed for you in the moment to come to the front is what's going to be. And then your relationship with presence, kind of like what's happening here, okay? The field is showing me opportunities, monies, investors, um, emails, things that are so exciting. Okay, I choose to respond to that. Oh, I'm excited about seeing the babies. Oh my God, babies. I get excited about that. So. I'm not tailored or anchored to my one decision of being here and sharing with you this video. So that's the lesson. It's like, okay, I got excited about this live video. And that gave me the energy to receive these higher invitations, higher opportunities, higher loves, higher monies, higher, higher. It always gets better. So never get attached to the one thing that brought you that spark of excitement because that was just the symbol that moved you a little bit more forward into the highest timeline. This is similar to Bashar teachings. It's follow your heart's... I, I switch it to heart's resonance because for addicts, if you tell an addict, follow your highest excitement onto bliss, uh, that can be a recipe for disaster. <laughs> so to all my addict viewers and students, we're all addicts in some way, shape, or form. Highest excitement means your heart's excitement. Whatever makes you feel the most in love in the moment, that's the code of what to follow. And then you always live in abundance frequency because the moment you you make a higher choice for yourself you're sending a signal and the whole of humanity benefits not just you the whole of humanity <sighs> so by it's, it's paradoxical by embodying your king energy by embodying your dark feminine and putting yourself first and choosing what's more exciting for you, seemingly selfishly, you benefit everybody because you don't even care to benefit them. It just happens as a radiation of your embodiment. What are you telling life? What are you radiating to life? How are you responding to life? Are you doing what you say you were gonna do? Are you following through with your self-proclaimed statement self-proclaimed value because one thing is to be specific with what you want and another thing is following through if you say you were going to do something are you taking intuitive action onto it or was it just an excitement of the moment that's unhealed wounded feminine energy that's the wounded maiden if you want to use archetypes of carl john so to be in your king in your queen to be in your Hmm, what's this other archetype that we can use? Sorceress. I like that. It's like the sage. It's also wisdom and maturity. Mm -hmm. And the playfulness of whatever arises in the moment. 
So when you learn how to balance all these archetypes, you can use them to choose which one comes to the front. Oh my God, there's so many people. <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> I feel it it's so high. <sighs> You don't need to force anything into existence, okay? When you surrender, when you have that infinite trust and calibration within yourself and what you want fully, in conviction, it's not an idea, it's not an intuition. It shifts into deep conviction. <laughs> then it's just easy and everything comes to you effortlessly. So it becomes symbol, it becomes strength, it becomes, uh, God, I think we're going to come up with new words for everything because how do I describe the ineffable? As your body alchemizes into higher frequencies, it's going to be easy for you to know which archetype or energy needs to be used for the highest benefit of the most epic scene <laughs> and at some point the audience just speaks back to itself the discovery of your authentic soul core frequency soul core he <laughs> soul core frequency Once you discover that, then it's easy because life works through you and then you can be fully in the backseat and the body, those things and the mind starts when it needs to tell you something. And you, you are on the world, but not in the world. And then you can bilocate and use telepathy and have CDs and things like that. That's the advanced course. <laughs> but first you need to know yourself. Okay. <sighs> so good. So much perfection. All goes from complete to complete. Life is the divine unfoldment of yourself with capital S as the prayer. There are no beginnings, there are no endings. All happens effortlessly by divine synchronicity. You relax and allow the process to take you. How easy it is when you can relax and allow the process to take you. And there's no more force, there's no more suffering. There's no more hindrance. There's no more sabotage because you live in complete alignment with your soul's highest deepest, purest, most delicious essence. When that happens, all your energy centers work in alliance to fulfill what you came here to fulfill. You become a walking transmission, walking prayer. <laughs> 